All right, I'm uh, setting string height with a method that I've had for a long time because I've played a lot of clubs and I wanted my action to always be jazz rock, very predictable. I didn't want no surprises. So basically, I go where that little birdie is, you know, the lowest, the highest fret, I think. Now you see how it's, uh, it's still ringing? Then I check, I check and see that if it's pretty much on top of that brass. Uh, let me take a look behind the camera. That's what I'm using. If you look at it and study it good, this is twice as tall as those frets. So once I get it on the wood, it'll be one fret thickness higher than, than, than the wood, uh, basically. And, and that's the action that I use. And anybody else can measure it and whatever they want to do. But this has always been proven to be, uh, yeah, day after day, it is, uh, for me, the way to go to set the action. So I just do a little bit at a time and I recheck it. So I'd say if I have to lower it a bit, yeah, because that's a lot of play. You can see on top the string has a little travel. Not not much. It's thousands, you know, um, I guess in millimeters or something. And I keep checking it. get there and I check make sure that it's all parallel there with this bridge back here I want everything be, to be the saddles to all be you know uh, level I don't like sloppy work so when it chokes it a little that I'm in the ballpark. Then I just measure how much travel. I look at it, and I hear it. There's a little bit of travel, but not much. So I'd say that that just needs to be tweaked a little lower. And I compare it to the back of this, which I know guaranteed to be straight. Each saddle, I do that. Now it's still ringing, right? That's perfect, because it just went just, and that's it. <clears throat> Enough to stop the string from vibrating. I go to the next string, next fret. All right, so apparently it's just too low. And look back there. Back of the bridge, is, you know, you know that this line is straight. You want this each saddle to be, <laughs> you know, not crooked, you know. So, I want it to be all very lined up. Every time you go up to the next string, you scoot it up towards the neck, uh, towards the uh, tuners, one fret. And that way, by the time you get to the sixth string, they'll all be at the right heights because the wound strings need more clearance, more, they, they move more.
getting there. So these uh, bridge saddles provide you with that little Allen wrench too, whenever you get one. It's a nice Allen wrench. It's uh, just the right amount of bigness. Almost. Doesn't take much uh, movement. <clears throat> There you go. See how it, see how it sustains? Now I'll go to the third string. And I move it up one fret each time. I start first string, second string, third string, G string now. Now that one's really low. Because these bridge saddles are brand new. They've never been set. They've just been manufactured and that's it. They just were made. Uh, my job is to install it. Third string, three frets away from the uh, highest fret. You can hear that. And that's trying to scoot it underneath the string while it's vibrating. Keep trying to sneak it underneath the string that's vibrating, and what it actually sustains, and it's just touching almost the top. Uh, of this neural, nice brass little round thing. See, now it's starting to get good there. That still chokes it. So if it chokes it, it's too low. If it can vibrate freely, then you're one fret above the other fret, basically. Well, it, it, it becomes a fret thickness as far as your action. <laughs> it's pretty low. But you can still put skin underneath of it. And, you know, I mean, I've proven. I've played blues, rock, jazz, country, anything. I don't care. You the people, the maintenance people are doing their thing out there. Almost. So intonation has a lot to do with your string height. You start with the string height. String height. You want it to be like that, to clear that. Uh, This is the agony you have to go through if you want a guitar to really be right there where you want it, you know, where you want the guitar to respond <clears throat> very predictably, night after night. So that's why I devised this method. I, I'm also a luthier's son. I've seen my dad do all kinds of weird stuff according to the way it's taught. But, you know, uh, he's from Puerto Rico, Mount Nuevo, the south of the island. And that's a f our family has been in guitars for a long time and other instruments, five string instruments and stuff like that. 
They're all Spanish instruments. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Riqueño. Coño. Coño. Accent on the last syllable. Oh, almost there. All right, it's still choking it. So basically, you use your ears to hear the chokingness of it. That's trying to clear, trying to sneak the thing underneath uh, the string while it's vibrating. Now you hear some sustain, like that. You're done. You check and see if it if it has any travel. It's right on top, and it's still ringing. All right, so <clears throat> then I go to the fourth string. One, two, three, four, where that little birdie is. And I do it on this side. That's really low. Basically, how the saddles are, they're not really intonated as far as length of the string, where it should be exact, you know, octave higher than the bottom of the note, the nut is. Uh, that you don't worry about it, you just kind of put it in a staggered way, because you know you're close. That's just the way they look. <laughs> All my guitars are set with these extra lights. They start at 009, 0 .009. Uh, by the time they get up here, it's like 40, uh, the, the thicker strings. Uh, so you get used to a certain uh, action. Your hands respond better if you're consistent. If you go to play the guitar, it's different every every week. You know, it's just what the, you know, why 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 bother with that? You know, a little little bit of work. Oh, he's not working. He's they're lazy bums. All those musicians are lazy bums. Yeah, but can you even see the detail work involved in preparing guitar action? <laughs> you can't because you're stupid. All you care about is whatever you care about, and that's it. And then you low-grade the, the musicians because they apparently are lazy, according to you. But tediosities abound. I'm, I'm proving the fact that this is a very tedious type of job. If you have no stomach for tediosity, then forget about it. You're not luthier. Yeah. Luthiers are always checking, che checking, checking. Ah, it's just, it'll drive you nuts, really. I don't even drive normal people nuts, you know. People just live from paycheck to paycheck, and, and that's their worth in life. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth string. choking it. There 
there you go. So now all I got is a six string. One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever that little birdie is. And I'll be done. I usually go like that and then pull it out. I'll just try to get to the next to the fret. So it's all consistent. Try to make a pattern, you know, something, some kind of habit that you know is always going to do you well, you know. This is a stri six string. See how it's still golden? <laughs> it's loose, but it's right on top. And I'm done with the string height. Next would be the uh, actual moving the bridge uh, saddles, moving and rocking it this way, closer to the nut or, or away from the nut until you get it just right. And the harmonic of it, that, that little harmonic there, hear it? And that's that's the frequency you want to be uh, an exact octave. Uh, and uh, use your tuner. I just kind of left it on there. But. All right, that's uh, one piece of it. Uh, that was setting uh, string height uh, with a, uh, <laughs> I guess the technology here is just observing the, the height of the, you know how this is, that there's, there's two, two halves, like, you know, I noticed that <clears throat> the fret comes up to half of that. My action is kind of low because I play jazz, but I don't want it so low that it slips off when I'm playing blues or country. So that's why I do that. Yeah. All right, hopefully you got enough light there. I get that big bright light. <laughs> All right. Well, this is uh, the end of uh, of this uh, string height uh, little lesson in how to do it without all this measuring shit. I mean, you could buy a lot of measuring kits and then read up on on all this. You know, increments of millimeters and like thousands of an inch. And, but uh, if you just want to get a regular, you know, that you're always going to, it's always going to be there. It's going to be consistent night after night, week after week. Then this is the way I recommend. God bless.